Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you how to create arrow outlines, which is a new feature in Affinity Photo 1.7. So let's get started. So one way to create them is you can create, you can get a pen tool, and I'm just going to make a line with the pen tool, and I had it set for dashes. You can do anything. I'll I'll change it afterwards, but let's leave it at dashes. And if you open up the line tool right here, uh, you have a choice of arrows, different kind of arrows. So let's say you want this triangle arrow, and let me move this so you can see it, and I'll get a close-up. And, and there's an arrow right there. Now what you can do with that arrow is you can make it larger. Oops, not there. Uh, right here, I'm sorry. You can make it larger if you like. And it's good for pointing, things on pointing design. I can change that to a solid line. Uh, it can be a, a wider, wider line. Now again, the arrow is in proportion with the size of the line, so I'm just going to lower the size of the arrow. And so that's, it's kind of cool. I thought that was interesting. Good for um, demonstrating things and pointing to things like that. You can put tails on them also if you want. At the end, if you can switch them. You can have all different kinds of tails, as you can see. But what I found really a lot of fun is, let's say we did the letter a and I still have those arrows selected. Whoops, let's do that way. And type A. And the arrows, because I still have them on there, by the way, when you do it with letters, instead of it showing here, it shows in the character font, uh, the character panel. And you can get to the character panel by saying view uh, studio. I'm trying to find studio and characters if you don't see the character panel up here so what i what i have now because it remembered the stroke from up here uh so i have arrows and if i i had front and back but i can do none i could reverse them i could say the arrows on the other side but i thought this was a kind of a very interesting feature i can make the arrow itself smaller or bigger and it could be a, a nice effect and remember, you can also have color in the font itself. Um, I have it set to none, but I can give it any color I want. So it's a fun feature, and I'm sure you'll find many uses for it. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please click like and subscribe, and have a good day.